Welcome back to another vlog if you're new here and you just so happen to stumble upon this video Welcome, my name is Lizelle. So today is Tuesday the 16th of March as you guys can see I'm already ready for my day. I'm actually sitting here just about to have some breakfast I woke up pretty early this morning. I woke up at like just before 5.30, I think it was like 5.25 or something when I reached over and looked at my phone. But um, yeah, I don't know what it is lately. I think for the past month, month and a half, almost two months, I've just been waking up super early, which I'm not mad at it. Like, I'm happy that I'm finally a morning person. I never thought that I would be a morning person. But yeah, I had a nice slow morning. My routine usually goes that I like wake up, kind of chill for a bit, let myself regather my thoughts and energy, and then I'll do a bit of journaling and then go straight into working out. So I did work out already this morning, showered, got ready, did my makeup, put on an outfit, fixed my hair, and I feel like that is the best way for me to start my day because I feel, you know, I've gotten things that I don't necessarily want to do out of the way, like working out, trust me. I don't wake up every morning ready and excited to go and work out, but I just force myself to do it. So yeah, I feel really good that I've developed a routine in getting all of that stuff done early. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm about to start eating my breakfast and I was sitting here and I was like, you know what, I should probably vlog today. So you guys have already seen this, my current favorite breakfast, which I actually ran out of strawberries. So I realized that I probably should go grocery shopping today. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna do that this morning after I finish my breakfast, I'll just Put on an outfit and head out the door and go do that but yeah that is the plan for today just thought i would pick up the camera and start vlogging for you guys and update you so i am going to go ahead and have my breakfast probably finish getting ready even though i am ready i actually put on a load of laundry this morning so i need to fix that up before i head out but yeah, I'll check with you guys later. So for the past few days, it's actually been raining a little bit. The weather has cooled down just a little bit, which is why I'm kind of dressed for a bit cooler weather, even though it honestly, like, for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys who live in the US, who are currently, like, transitioning out of winter into spring, this weather is probably exactly what you want. But for us, summer going into autumn, the cooler weather is a nice change, which is why I'm currently cozied up in my jacket, which let me show you guys today's outfit of the day. So today's OOTD. I actually wore something similar to this the other day, but I had like a cropped tee on. Today I'm just wearing like a regular tee, like tucked into my pants. Since it's cooling down like just a little bit over here, I went to H&M recently and I found a bunch of really cute outerwear pieces, some jackets, jackets, that kind of thing. And this was one of them. So I actually really like it. And it's perfect for days like this because it's not like too cold, but it's not hot either. You just need like a little something over top. So I'm just wearing this plain white tee from Uniqlo. The jacket, as I mentioned, is from H&M and then these jeans I recently got these as well these are the mom jeans from Cotton On. I actually really like them. They're very comfortable. And then we have my Yeezy slides, which I'm not going to be wearing these out. I am going to be changing into sneakers, but that is today's outfit of the day. So I'm going to head out now. I actually already made my grocery list, so all that's left to do is... Yeah, go out, run my errands, and I will check in with you guys later. You guys, I just went to go fill up fuel, and I found these. Krispy Kreme did a collab, I guess, with Biscoff. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Should I open this right now? Actually, never mind. It's kind of sealed, and it's hard to open with one hand. But oh my gosh, it's so cool. I can't wait to try these. Yeah, I'm going to drive off now and go and get my grocery shopping done. Okay, so I just got done with my grocery shopping. I bought a lot of stuff, actually, because I'm planning on making pizza this evening. So I bought every single ingredient that I needed for that. I also got myself an iced coffee. It's actually quite warm in my car right now, so I really hope that my donuts are okay. I'm excited to eat them though, to really see like if they are, you know, like that Biscoff taste. But um, yeah, grocery shopping is done. It was really busy, but like I said, I did a pretty big shop today, but I got everything that, that I needed for tonight's dinner and pretty much other things that I need for the rest of the week. But anyways, I'm gonna head off now. It's currently midday, 12 p.m. 
so I'm gonna go home and I'll catch up with you guys there. All right, you guys, I just got home from the grocery store. I brought my bags and I have about three bags full of groceries to put away. So let me unbag everything and I shall show you this week's grocery haul. Okay, so as you guys saw, I did pick myself up some Krispy Kreme donuts, which I'm so excited. I feel like I've been telling you guys about this all day already, but I'm so excited to try these actually no i'm not gonna open it now i just want to smell it you know like i just want to see <laughs> i just want to see what it smells like but um yeah i'm really excited to try these like i said i went to go fill up fuel and then i saw these and i was like oh oh my gosh i gotta try them so picked up those and i know that's already like a little treat but i did pick myself up some snakes from the natural confectionery co these are the like sugar, well not sugar free, it's like less sugar, so like a better alternative as they say, but I don't know, I was like craving these the other night. I was on my computer editing and I was like, you know what I really want right now is like snakes. So yeah, I bought myself some of those. I also picked up two different flavors of the Harvest Snaps baked pea crisps. I have salt and vinegar and seaweed. I love the salt and vinegar flavor, they taste so so good so i really really like these if you guys haven't tried them which i'm pretty sure for my fellow aussies a lot of you probably have seen these in the grocery stores but they're so tasty i love them i also got myself some more goji berries because i was running out of those for my like morning breakfast yoga bowls granola bowls and then i got some avocados i do have some avocados left but i know i'm gonna run out like midweek so these are still pretty not ripe they're quite firm so I'm just going to put those to the side and let them do their thing for a while. I also picked up some apples. Again, this is just one of those things that I was like craving during the week. And I was like, I wish I had some apples. I like chopping these up and having them in slices with peanut butter. I feel like that's like my sweet and savory snack. So I really like those. And I do prefer green Granny Smith apples over red apples that's just what i like i also picked up this matcha green tea i was trying to make my own matcha like matcha iced latte type things but i had like the little sachets with the powder in it but the grocery store that i went to didn't have any of that specific one so i thought i'd try this but they're like tea bags if you guys can see yeah i don't know we're gonna have to see how that goes and then i just got myself some more bread as well i feel like i always have to have one of these in my fridge at all times i also got myself a big bottle of vinegar i always have vinegar on hand because i like to use it for cooking my eggs like when i poach them and also cleaning which is a new thing for me and you guys will see all about that when i do my clean with me video but yeah i always have to have vinegar on hand so i bought another one of those and i did get myself some kombucha from next spot it's their naturally sugar-free kombucha this specific flavor is rose lemonade i've tried their mango and i think their peach or maybe that was a different brand but i wanted to try this flavor see what it was like and i also did get some almond milk i went to the um when i was buying my coffee right i was trying to see like what kind of almond milk do they use because i always get almond milk in my coffees but it's so much more like creamier and just like nicer tasting than what i was putting in my coffees and i saw they were using this so i was like oh okay i better get myself some so yeah i got this we'll see how it's like it says it's the home barista at home with coffee i mean yeah i really don't know if this is going to be like as good we shall find out but i've picked up two of those and then speaking of coffee i got myself some more of the avalanche sugar-free 99 percent sugar-free caramel lattes i love these if you guys like caramel lattes but you're trying to look for like a better alternative than always having like sugar then i would recommend checking these out because it is very low in calories but it tastes really good tonight i want to make pizza so i bought everything that i need for that so i did get myself some pizza sauce i've never tried this one but it's just the coles brand and um yeah it says it has onion garlic and herbs so we're gonna try that this evening i also got myself pineapple pieces which I know it might be like controversial but i do like pineapple on my pizzas especially if i'm doing like at home homemade pizzas i like putting pineapple on there so are you a pineapple person on your pizzas or not comment down below and let me know but i do like pineapple on my pizzas and then i also got myself a jar of sliced black olives i 
love olives i especially love green olives which obviously these aren't that these are just like black olives but i love all kinds of olives and then i did also of course get a pizza base i wanted to try like a cauliflower pizza base i've never tried it before so i'm pretty excited to see what this is all about so yeah i'm gonna be making pizza this evening which i keep saying like i'm super excited about and that's because i'm excited to try like the new pizza base but i did also get uh some ham and pepperoni if i can find it yeah pepperoni as well i'm probably gonna have like a lot of ham left over so i'll probably make i don't know like quiches or like omelets or something throughout the week to have as like snacks or for breakfast i'll find a use for like the leftover ham and then i also got some sun-dried tomatoes which again just like olives i love i feel like if i have sun-dried tomatoes olives feta i'm set like that's all i need so yummy which i didn't buy feta to put on my pizza but that's okay because i did buy just some pizza blend cheese i honestly didn't know what kind of cheese i wanted to get so i just got this one and then last thing for my pizza oh yeah i got myself a little bag of baby spinach i do have baby spinach already but it's in my freezer and i just felt like i wanted to have fresh spinach so i figured that i would buy this and then just keep the rest in my freezer if i have any left over what else do we have there's a few things left i bought some strawberries because i always like to have strawberries in my fridge for like snacks or for breakfast and then i did get some chobani greek yogurts i usually get the fit me ones but i just picked up these because these are on sale and then i also have some cherry tomatoes which is something i like to have again in my fridge all the time because i like to have them like with my avocados for breakfast and then some eggs so that is everything that i got for today's grocery shop it was a pretty big shop i feel like because i was looking for the specific things for the pizza my grocery shop today took a lot longer than usual usually i'm really quick with it like i can be in and out of there in like 20 minutes but i didn't know where half the things were so yeah that is my grocery haul for the week oh actually there's one more thing oh yeah i did there is one more thing i got some salmon this is like pre-marinated salmon and it has uh the garlic and herb crumbs which you add on top i've had these before they're really yummy i basically just bake them in the oven with like the crumb on it and i'll steam some vegetables or like mash some potatoes or something like that roast some vegetables whichever i feel and then i have this and it's so yummy i love salmon and if it's like marinated and crumbed even better so yes that is the grocery haul for the week i'm gonna go ahead and put everything away and then i will catch up with you guys later okay so i just finished putting away my groceries i cleared my fridge cleaned up reorganized all of that everything is all put away and now i want to try one of these so i don't know which one i want to have first i was looking at them and i think this one is like an original glaze with like obviously the biscoff topping and then this one is stuffed so i think i want to try the stuffed one you guys don't understand i love donuts and i love biscoff flavor like biscoff biscuits biscoff anything i am obsessed with it i only discovered it like towards the end of last year and i became crazy obsessed with the flavor but um usually i don't like stuffed donuts but i want to try this one so yeah i'm gonna put this on a plate and cut it up okay let's see i just want to cut it in half so i can like see <laughs> what the inside looks like okay it ain't bad i think this is like oh this is not biscoff okay it's only the outside this is like cream which i don't usually like fake cream but that one's pretty sweet so it tastes good so cheers mm, so good oh my gosh wow that's like legit biscoff flavor you guys if you're in australia head to a 7-eleven go and pick i haven't even tried the other one yet but i'm already recommending it to you guys it's so yummy mm. <laughs> that's so good i could probably finish both of these right now but i have to save the other one for later might have it like after dinner or something so i pretty much inhaled that 
I still have half left, so I'm probably gonna try and like savor this a little more rather than inhaling it like I just did with the other half. I still have my coffee, so I'm probably just gonna take some time right now to go and check my emails. I know I have a few to, that I need to like respond to, so I'm probably just gonna go and do that. Sorry, I'm like trying to make sure that I don't have anything on my mouth, but um, yeah, I'm probably just gonna take some time to do all of that and then I will check in with you guys later I feel like I've gotten so much done today It's only 1 p.m. now just after 1 p.m. Oh my gosh, my Ninang is so cute She messaged me on Viber. I didn't even realize that I had Viber on my phone But she sent me like a little sticker and she's telling me all about how she just got Viber and she saw that I was on it So she wanted to say hi. So cute but yeah, like I was saying, I am going to go ahead and just get some other things done and finish my coffee along with the second half of that donut and I'll check in with you guys later. So it is quite some time later now. It's currently just after 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm currently sitting in this cozy little corner of my room, which you guys would have seen in my previous video before this one, the unboxing my MacBook, which yes, I did end up having to buy myself a new computer. I think I've had this for two weeks now, but because my content was so backed up, as in like I'd pre-filmed a lot of videos, I hadn't really spoken about it till now because I knew that that video was coming out just before this one, if that makes sense. But yes, the past two weeks with this new computer has been so much easier and I didn't want to have to upgrade, but I'm really glad that I did. And yeah, if you guys watched that video, you would have seen how I customized it and personalized it a little bit more. But for the most part, this is how it looks. Also, I've been loving the touch bar, which is something like a feature that I hadn't experienced before. And I'm just feeling very grateful that I now have this to work with because it's much more faster, it's more efficient, and even though I didn't want to have to upgrade, I am glad that I did because it means that I have something that works a lot better for me. So yeah, I was actually um, playing around with the touch bar, right? And I didn't realize that you could have games on it, which I'm not really one to have games on my laptop, but this video came up in my recommended feed. Where is it? He was showing like how you can have, see? You can have like full on pets, like a like a little puppy or something on your touch bar, which is so cute. I think it's really cute. I think one of you guys actually asked me if I had ever planned to get like a dog or a cat or some type of companion to have here with me. To be honest, yeah, I was planning and contemplating and even thinking like I really wanted to get myself a puppy or a kitten, but I think in this season of my life at the moment, I don't know, I just don't want to prematurely commit to having a pet. Just not right now. I feel like maybe later on when things become a little more settled, but I think right now, I don't know, I just think it would be selfish of me to do it for the purpose of only having it be a companion for me. Does that make sense? Like if I get a pet, I want to make sure that I'm in the position where I can give it undivided love and attention and I don't want to be irresponsible and like yeah just prematurely run out and get myself a pet because it is a big responsibility I feel like it's almost as big as having like a baby especially if you get yourself you know like a puppy or a kitten it really is like having a baby they need a lot of attention which of course I'm more than willing to give it but even the thought of like you know if I have to go out leave the house run an errand or just be out for the day like leaving a pet in the house by itself i don't know i just would feel so bad about it and yeah i would just feel so bad about like leaving a little like puppy or kitten by itself i know i don't know i like i would feel horrible about that so as much as i do want one i just don't want to prematurely commit to having one because i know in this season of my life with like everything going on it probably isn't the right time and i shouldn't do it for selfish reasons. I hope that makes sense. I'm I'm thinking of the animal here. Like I don't want to put it through trauma or like have it develop anxiety. Yeah, I think for the time being, maybe <laughs> maybe I could get a touch bar pet. But um, <laughs> so funny that I'm talking about that. But yeah, like I said, it's just after 3:30. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it is currently raining outside. It started raining about an hour ago, and it hasn't really stopped. So it's like cozy 
cuddle weather at the moment but i think what i'm gonna do is kind of finish up what i'm doing here i'm honestly already thinking about dinner it's only 3 30 and i'm thinking about my pizza because i'm so excited to make it but yeah for the time being i'm gonna continue on with what i'm doing and i'll catch up with you guys later all right you guys it is now officially pizza making time i don't know why i'm so excited about this i think it's because i haven't made a homemade pizza i think for years like it's been quite a while but i already chopped up my onion i forgot that i wanted to add onion onto the pizza already laid out the pizza base wait let me just show you guys so of course we have the pizza base like i said this is the cauliflower pizza base if any of my fellow aussies are interested i got this from coles it was in like the the bakery section so i have the pizza base i chopped up some onion that I'm going to sprinkle on top and then I have all of my toppings over here I don't know why but I feel like I'm missing something oh actually okay yes I feel like maybe the spinach completes the picture a little bit adds some color to it even though I'm not going to put that on till the very end but I am going to get to putting the toppings on so so I already preheated my oven and I'm just going to start by putting the pizza base on i don't really know how much i need but we'll just work with that spread it all around this base actually smells really good as in like the sauce i can really smell like the herbs and the garlic man you guys <laughs> i feel like i'm hyping this up so much what if i don't even like the cauliflower base i mean i'm sure i'm gonna like it regardless i guess i'm just super excited to be making a pizza okay so i think that's pretty good as it is so that is the pizza sauce next up let's put the onion i love onion you guys i feel like if you add onion to anything it tastes good like i just love onion okay next up let's do the pepperoni if i can get this open <laughs> Maybe I have to cut it. I got it. I couldn't decide between like whether I wanted pepperoni or ham. So I decided to get both, which I think is fine. This is probably going to be like a supreme pizza or something like that. But yeah, I just decided to get both. Well, that's pretty generous, isn't it? Okay, cool. I'm just going to add the ham on now as well. This is just like shredded ham. I think I said earlier when I was doing my grocery haul, that I'm probably gonna have like a lot of leftover ham because I don't think I'm gonna use this whole thing but I'll probably just use it for like omelet or quiches or something like that later on in the week I feel like this is gonna be a really loaded pizza though already this looks super generous I swear I've never seen a pizza from Domino's look like this okay next up I'm gonna put on the sun dried tomatoes with basil which can we take a moment I love sun-dried tomatoes oh my gosh and it smells so good i wish you guys could smell this oh my goodness let me just let me just taste test one <laughs> mm, so yummy i'm just going to place those all around these are actually quite chunky i didn't know that they were going to be like this big but that's fine next up i'm gonna do the pineapple i did strain this already and i'm gonna put it in a separate container once i'm done as well i don't know if you guys notice but whenever i do pizza toppings i do it like in the shape of a clock like i'll do the top middle the bottom middle side side and then i'll fill in all the gaps in between and then i do like the middle i have to lay it out like that to make sure that every piece is like even and then i fill in like whatever gaps i see do you guys like pineapple on your pizzas because i feel like it's such a debate and i like it like i think it's yummy i mean i don't see anything wrong with it but i can understand why people don't like it because it's like sweet on savory but um next up i'm going to put <sighs> if i can open this let me get the tea towel oh my gosh Ow, man. Okay, I got it, but it's dripping everywhere. Hold on. Okay, next up we're doing the olives, which again, I love olives. I could eat them on their own. I especially love green olives stuffed with feta cheese. So delicious. Okay, this is a very loaded pizza. I might have underestimated what it was going to be like, but that's fine. All right, and then last but not least, I think... What I have to do is put the cheese. It has mozzarella, cheddar, and parmesan. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, how are we looking? That is 
a lot. <laughs> so this is how the pizza is looking before it goes in. I'm actually going to put the baby spinach like on top at the end, like to just let it wilt on top. I don't want it to go like crispy and brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook this and I shall show you guys what it looks like when it's done. All right guys, I just took the pizza out of the oven. I'm not done with it just yet because I need to add the spinach on top and then I'll just pop it back in the oven for like the last few to let it kind of wilt. I know the spinach covers everything up, but it's totally fine. All right, there we have it, you guys. The pizza is done. I probably could have added more spinach, but that's totally fine. It looks so good and I'm so excited to eat it. So let me cut it up and we'll do a bit of a taste test. Okay, so knowing me, I'm probably gonna have to go back for more, but I got myself two slices of pizza to begin with. I don't know if you guys can see, but they are thick. Like not the base as in like all the toppings that I put on. I put a lot. So here we go. Here's the taste test. Everything's already falling off. Let's see how this tastes. Mmm, mm, I really like it. That's so good. Oh my gosh. I need to do homemade pizzas more often because this is really really good I probably have something on my chin right now. I feel like I accidentally put something on my chin But yeah, the base like the actual cauliflower base my first time having a cauliflower base and it's really good pretty tasty it doesn't even really taste like cauliflower I feel like all the other flavors from the toppings just kind of overpower it anyway, but 10 out of 10, do recommend. Would recommend trying out a cauliflower base if you have not done so yet, but oh my gosh, okay. I'm ready to like inhale this. <laughs> I also have a bottle of the Nexpa Rose Lemonade Kombucha. It literally just tastes like lemonade. Like it doesn't have that kombucha taste. You know how some of the flavors, there's like, I don't know how to describe it. Like you just know it's kombucha. This one literally just tastes like lemonade. Yeah, I actually really like this flavor. So that's good too. But right now, I'm currently watching The Simpsons, I guess. It's just what's on TV right now. It is about 6.30 in the evening. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my pizza. I'll keep you guys updated and then let you know if I do end up having more than two slices. But like I said, these are pretty hefty, so. We shall see. So dinner is finished. I already cleaned up the kitchen and right now I'm currently just folding the pile of laundry that has been sitting on my bed, staring at me all day. I figured that I can't obviously lay down till this is put away. That's what I always do to myself now. Instead of like taking my laundry and putting it in a basket in the corner of the room, as soon as I bring it in from drying outside or from the dryer, wherever it may have come from, I always just dump the whole basket on my bed so then I'm forced to put it away before the end of the day because I can't sleep if I have a bunch of clothes on my bed. I did end up having an extra slice of that pizza. I had to think about it. I was like, how many slices did I have? I had three slices of that pizza and honestly, it was so much. I'm very full after that. I don't even think I'm going to be able to have my other Krispy Kreme donut. I told myself I was gonna have it after dinner, but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to do that this evening. So I get to have that tomorrow. And I'll also have leftover pizza tomorrow as well. So I'm pretty happy about that. I was trying to figure out like what I wanted to watch. I don't usually watch shows or movies on Netflix unless it's like with Alan if we have a date night. I think I've said this before, but I've never really been the type of person to just like sit and watch shows by myself or movies or whatever, even though I have Netflix, I can't really like sit still and watch things. I don't know, I always have to be doing something else. I'm sure I can't be the only one like this, but if I'm watching a movie or watching a show or something, I have to be productive. Like I just have to be doing something like right now as I'm folding my clothes, I can watch a movie. Do you know what I mean? Like, but I couldn't just like sit there and watch the movie without doing something. I don't know how to explain it, but that's really how I feel. I actually want to take advantage of the fact that I do pay for Netflix every single month and I want to use it not just for watching shows or movies with Alan, which don't get me wrong, I love that, but you know, I really should 
watch other things as well so the reason why I'm saying this is because if you guys have any like recommendations for me please comment down below and let me know what shows or movies you guys enjoy from Netflix um, I actually did watch it's called Ginny and Georgia I actually found that pretty interesting and I think the reason why I liked it I mean it was kind of kind of like corny and cheesy in some parts but it just moved so quickly like you didn't have to wait so long for the storyline to unfold like the first episode I was like wow so much happened already I gotta find out where this is going so I did watch that I also have seen Breaking Bad I really like that I watched that a couple years ago with Alan like we watched the whole series over a period of time I don't even remember how many like seasons that was and we recently watched El Camino but yeah if you guys have any like recommendations for me of what you think I would enjoy on Netflix comment down below and let me know all right so in the time that I've spoken to you guys I've actually folded all of my laundry I thought I had some things that I had to hang but all of this is stuff that needs to go into drawers so I'm gonna go ahead and put everything away now so laundry is put away it's just after 8 p.m. I've already spent my time cleaning up and picking up for the day usually before like I unwind for the evening I spend 20 minutes like I'll set a timer for myself and spend 20 minutes picking up, cleaning, folding laundry, just doing things that clear my space for the next day. And a lot of the time I don't even need like the full 20 minutes. Folding those clothes probably only took me like, I don't know, like 10 minutes. And then I just tidied up whatever else I needed to tidy up. But I find that really helps with like maintaining my space. You know, the old saying of a clear space is a clear mind really reigns true with me. I cannot function when I feel like there's a lot of clutter or just like a lot happening. I get really overwhelmed. So I really do try to maintain my space, keep it clean. So I spend 20 minutes in the evenings before I chill out for the day to just pick up and get everything sorted and like aligned for the next day. But Usually after I finish that, I will go ahead and, you know, get cozy, light some candles, even more so specifically today because it is a little cooler. It's rainy outside. It's not even that cold, but you know. But I wanted to show you guys this thing that I recently got. It is, what is this called? A rechargeable candle lighter? Something like that. I don't know if I should like warn anybody about this, but I'm about to turn this on and it does kind of like flash and make like a weird noise, so. But basically... That's it. This is a brand new candle. It's just one of those vanilla scented ones from Ikea. But yeah, I just like to go around and light all of the candles in my room. I like this one too. And also this one. So yesterday I actually went out and picked myself up a brand new journal. If you guys have been with me for a minute, then you know that I do like to journal. But I kind of fell off it for a bit just because I was so focused on doing my five minute journal, which I highly recommend if you guys are wanting to get into journaling, but you're not really the type of person to like sit there and write for a long period of time, get this because I feel like it's so quick and easy. I do this pretty much every single day. Perhaps I may have missed one day, but I always jump back on it. It's definitely one of those things that's a habit for me. So yeah, I kind of became so focused on doing this every single day that I, stopped doing like my typical journaling and then yesterday i decided to pick myself up a brand new journal so this is just one from kiki k if you guys can see i did get it embossed is that what it's called or personalized monogrammed whatever it is just got my initials there but it's pretty thick it's probably gonna take me a minute to fill this up but yeah it just feels good to get back into writing like i said i do like to write i am a very cerebral person i actually do a lot of like free writing which is where i just dump my thoughts or just write how i'm feeling but with this journal i wanted to focus more on journal prompts if you guys know what that is it's basically where you get asked a question or it's like a thought-provoking thing which can spark like what you'll write about so i actually have like a little screenshot on my phone of a set of like journal prompts that i wanted to do i just looked it up on pinterest and that is what i have decided to do for this journal it actually really helps i feel like for me journaling 
isn't necessarily talking about my feelings and getting my emotions out it's more so about like slowing my mind down and taking the time to process my thoughts rather than letting them just like run through my mind if that makes sense because like I said I think a lot I'm very cerebral and it doesn't have to be about anything in particular like I will randomly start thinking about like okay how deep can whales dive or the number one thing that I think about a lot is the universe and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people can relate to this as well but when I think about like how big it is I start to get like oh my god even my eyes are like freaking out but I get really overwhelmed if you guys have ever watched like those videos on YouTube I don't know I don't remember what they're called off the top of my head but it's basically like zooming out and showing you the whole vastness of what is the universe I love that stuff but it freaks me out at the same time I mean it doesn't freak me out it just makes me realize like damn I'm really like so small like so small and when you really see everything in perspective and how like you know there's this galaxy that we're in but there's also multiple other galaxies as well like it just blows my mind so yeah I think a lot about that kind of stuff and I just think a lot so slowing my mind down channeling my thoughts and my energy to focus on one question and to write about it really really helps me with like mental clarity keeping my mind focused that kind of thing so yeah if you guys are the same i would totally recommend for you to journal it definitely is one of those things that really helps me to just like slow down and chill i don't even know if you would like classify it as a hobby but yeah i love to write and i love to read those are two things that i just really love doing because of the fact that they help me slow down but anyways i should probably do comment of the day before i sign off for the day so today's comment of the day goes to kaylin thank you for your comment i really appreciate it it's so funny that you say that because you know growing up i actually didn't like my name i'd never heard of it before like i was the only lazelle that i knew and it was one of those names where like, you know, you couldn't go to the gift store and find like one of those cute personalized name tags or a personalized mug or keychain or something with my name on it. Like I just always told my mom that I wished I had like a common name because I just hated my name. And I always said that as soon as I turned 18 or whatever age it was that I would change my name because I wanted to have a more common name. And this is so funny, but my dad, would always pick on me because he quotes a time where I told him that I wanted to change my name and he was like, but that's the name that we gave you. Why would you want to change it? And I was like, I hate it. Like, I want to have a normal name. Like, I just want to have a more common name. And he was like, okay, so like, what, what name are you going to choose? And I was like, I was like, I want to name myself Violet. Shout out to all my Violets out there. I think it's a really pretty name, but I have absolutely no idea <laughs> what made me pick that name it's just so random but it's so funny when i think about it because yeah i really wanted to change my name i was so set on like when i get older like i'm gonna legally change my name but to be honest i love my name now i really love my name i love the way it looks i love the way it sounds i do love that it's not common thank you to my parents for giving me this name i'm pretty sure my mom was the one who picked the name but circling back around to comment of the day yeah thank you for saying that you love my name that's so sweet of you and um yeah i really appreciate it so thank you for leaving me your comment but with that being said my battery is actually flashing at me telling me that the camera is about to die so i should probably end things off here i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog thank you for spending part of your day with me if you did enjoy it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any more videos that i post like i always say i hope you guys are staying safe looking after yourselves and looking out for each other i'll talk to you guys in the comments and i will see you all in my next video